Welcome back friends, it's Anders, and it's Halloween. So happy Halloween, unless you are watching this another time of year, in which case, happy whatever day it is you are watching this. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the zombie. Seasonally appropriate, it's spooky and fun, there are a lot of ingredients, but I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this thing. Uh, this is gonna be great. Uh, don't drink too many of them. This drink was intended to be strong. Gather all of your ingredients, get on your costume. Yeah, let's make a zombie. To the bar. <laughs> Ernest Raymond Beaumont Gant. Four names, one man, also known as Don the Beachcomber or Don Beach, is considered the father of tiki, and he is responsible for numerous tiki recipes. But in my opinion, the zombie is the most iconic drink of Don the Beachcomber. The zombie is to Don the Beachcomber as the Mai Tai is to Trader Vic. The original recipe dates back to 1934, but there have been numerous renditions. In fact, Trader Vic himself had his own rendition 10 years later, which was very different than the original Don the Beachcomber zombie. And that's because tiki recipes were highly guarded secrets. In fact, Don the Beachcomber's early recipes all called for ingredients like spice number two and spice number four and Don's mix. And this was just to keep anybody from knowing the recipe, even his own bartenders. I'm sure they figured it out though, because now we know what the mixes are. Some of them were extremely simple. Some of them were a bit more involved. Yeah, secrets out, Don. He gets credit, that's it. So as far as tools, I've got my Boston shaker because I'm gonna shake this up with some crushed ice. I've got my mallet and Lewis bag to crush the ice. For a garnish, it's just gonna be a big sprig of mint. Not this big, but have some mint for a garnish and have a fun tiki glass, which I've got here. I'm not sure if the cocktail's gonna fit in this glass, but I don't care. If there's leftover, there's leftover. There's worse problems in the world. Okay, the booze. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room here, but we are gonna need a lot of things, so get ready. Jamaican rum, Puerto Rican rum, a Demerara 151 rum, Falernum, absinthe, Angostura bitters, grapefruit juice, lime juice, cinnamon syrup, and grenadine. All of this in one drink. Yeah, I understand if you don't have all these things, but I'll show you how to do it. The Jamaican rum I'm using is Appleton Estate 12 year rare cast. The Puerto Rican rum is Don Q Gold. The Demerara 151 rum is Hamilton 151 Demerara River. The Falernum is John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum. The Absinthe is La Clandestine. And the Bitters is Angostura Aromatic Bitters. Everybody has their grocery list. The original recipe calls for Don's Mix, which is one of Don Beach's secret ingredients. And really, all it is is grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. I'm not going to make a whole batch of that because I'm just making one zombie. The grapefruit and cinnamon is delicious. Delicious. As for the Falernum, I'm using John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum, but if you have a favorite, you should definitely use that. There are a number of different brands and they vary quite a bit. The main flavors are lime, ginger, and almond, but a lot of times they'll have all different kinds of spices. And you can make this at home. Homemade Falernum is delicious, but that's for another time. Now let's build. You're gonna need a jigger. Now we can build. We'll start with the Jamaican rum. We're gonna need an ounce and a half of Jamaican rum. Another ounce and a half of your Puerto Rican rum. One ounce of your 151 Demerara rum. Half an ounce of Falernum. Yeah, that's a new bottle. One ounce of grapefruit juice. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. If you want it more tart, you could go a full ounce. I'm going three quarters. Half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Quarter of an ounce of grenadine. One bar spoon or an eighth of an ounce of absinthe. I could use a bar spoon, but I've got a quarter of an ounce line in here. So I know what that is. I'm just going halfway up to that. And two healthy dashes of Angostura bitters. Now I'm gonna set this aside while I crush some ice. Move all of this over. Ugh. 
Remember, we don't want snow. Just nice pebbly ice. Good batch, good batch. I'm gonna put a little bit in with the cocktail. Get this out of here. That's good. It's cold really fast. And then we can just open pour right into the cocktail glass. Save a little room for mint. And for this one, I like to have a good handful. Give the mint a smack to wake it up. Just drop it right in. Like that. If you want, you could add cocktail cherries, you could add an orange slice, you could add whatever you want. I'm gonna do a straw. There we are. And there we go. One classy zombie. Cheers. That is, there is so much alcohol in here, but you don't taste it. This might be the most dangerous, dangerous cocktail. You get just a touch of the absinthe. You really want to go easy on that because that can overpower very, very easily. And same with the cinnamon syrup. The cinnamon and the absinthe, they kind of balance each other out. Man, that's really smooth. Oz, you, you should try this. <sighs> See what you think. Wow, that's really good. Oops, sorry, watch out for my eyes. Uh, I can confirm that it's totally delicious and does not taste like it has 10 ingredients. It doesn't taste as dangerous as no. it is. When Don the Beach came up with his tiki drinks, he named them these intimidating names like Skull and Bones and Zombie, and that was to attract men who didn't want to drink cocktails that were mixed with fruit juices. So, it, which is, is silliness, but he made this super strong drink and on the menus he put uh, two drink minimum. No, two drink maximum. It, then it became a challenge, you know? I have not got any comment on it. This is a shark. Yeah. A hammerhead shark. A hammerhead shark. This is my Halloween costume for every year so far for the last like three years. It's a good one. Yeah. Can yeah. you watch out for my eyes, please? No, you, yes. <laughs> so the shark likes it too. Land shark, wow. land shark. Everybody, enjoy your Halloween. Be safe. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified the next time a video comes out. And we will see you next time. We will. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.